Hello, YouTube dolls. My name is Adi, and welcome to my new channel where we talk lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. It is much appreciated. Today, we'll be reviewing um, the YSL belt bag as well as the YSL card case holder. So, just a little backstory. I went to New York two weeks ago on vacation, and I already had it in my head that I was going to get a new bag and a new wallet. And I already knew that I wanted something YSL, and the bum bag was definitely on my radar. So, I saw it in Saks, and I just decided when I saw it, like, you know what, I need that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that and she will become mine. So I'm gonna start off with the actual card holder. And YSL products, they always come in a black box from what I've seen, the products I have. And they come with the actual dust bag. So this is a little mini dust bag to hold the actual card case. And voila! It is the card case in black with the gold hardware and the grain embossed leather. And the leather is a nice quality. Um, it's smooth, but it does have that granular texture, if you can see that in the camera. And it holds about, let's see, two cards on the back, two cards in the front, and then it does have a middle holder for if you wanted to put more cards in that as well. So just had to have that, just a little small item. It was $295 if you're thinking about getting that. And then here comes the big kahuna. So with the YSL packaging, you get the box. They put the tissue paper in there. And then you also get your bag in the dust bag, the black dust bag, as with the wallet, just bigger. And this is the actual belt bag. So this is also in that same grain embossed leather. You can see closely that it's the same type of leather and it's a nice size um if you were to look at it on the body and you wanted to do it that way over the chest not too big a nice size where you can fit um quite a few things in there or you could always put it at your waist if you want to do it that way like a true fanny pack right now i have the tissue in it so it looks a little stuffed but we go ahead and take that out and on the inside, it's all black. It does have the YSL leather tag in there that says Saint Laurent Paris. And then it has a stamp that says made in Italy. And then it does have a pocket in there. And that is where the card comes that just shows you that it's authentic, that you didn't buy something off the streets in New York. And that is real. So let's see, if we close that back, you could kind of see how it is if you wanted it to be more so flat instead of stuffed and the belt is pretty long that was one of my concerns when I had looked into potentially getting this bag before I did um I thought that if I put it around my waist or something like that it would really be hanging off but the good thing about it is that it does have two belt loops so you have this initial belt loop to put it through and then you have this belt loop that goes all the way to the end of the belt. So if your belt is longer, you could tuck that in and it won't stick out too much, at least for me. Now, if you have a really tiny waist, it may stick out a little bit more. But I've worn it both ways. I've worn it over the chest and I'll show you what that looks like. I typically put it on the second to last hole and use both. Um, belt loops and then I'll put it on like that and I wore it in New York like that and it was so convenient anytime I had to go to a bodega or when I went into Saks again or any type of store it was more so just me unzipping grabbing for whatever I needed and then re-zipping it back I mean how convenient is that you could literally walk anywhere um, go shopping. If you have kids or whatever the case may be, you're just hands free out wherever you are. So that's one thing that I love about it. I don't have to worry about carrying a bag. It's just the bag is over me and it is what it is. Now I'll try to show you how to put it around your waist. Now the waist part, I did have to put it on, let me see, 
one of the last loops. Well, my waist isn't that small, but let's see. Maybe like the fifth loop, I would say. If you want it to just be a little loose on your waist. And if you can see, you can see how it comes to like the end of it. And you could just push that up like that and it won't hang. So just to give you guys a little perspective right there, super cute. I could literally wear this right now with what I have on. And the really good thing about this bag, guys, is that it is so carefree. It's not like the Louis Vuitton bum bag, which I also have, and it has the Vachetta leather on it. And you have to worry about, oh my gosh, don't let me get caught in the rain. Because if I do, now my Vachetta leather is gonna have water spots on it and it's gonna look terrible. You know, because you can't get the water spots out of the Vachetta leather. So whenever I wear that bag, I'm always subconsciously thinking about, oh my goodness, let me make sure that I don't mess up the Vachetta leather. Let me make sure I don't get water on it or anything like that. With this bag, since it's black, since it's the grain leather, if you were to get water on it, if you were to spill a drink on it, if your child was to accidentally spill something on it, anything like that, you know, if you're caught out in the rain, it's going to roll off of it and it's fine. It's not going to mess up the bag. It's completely black. The hardware is gold. It's really great quality. So I honestly think that it's worth the money. It was $1,090 and compared to the Louis Vuitton, I think when I bought the Louis Vuitton, it was like $1,780. And since then, Louis Vuitton has had about three price increases. So now it's probably pushing about $2,000. If you wanted to get something that is good quality, actually, I'm not even going to say good, great quality, that's still a designer and it's more um, sustainable because it's carefree, I would definitely recommend this. I mean, I just feel like you can't go wrong with it. And if you're a person like me who wears a lot of black, you could wear this with any outfit that you have in your closet, whether it's casual, dressy, or anything like that. So ladies and gents, if you're interested, it's definitely my recommendation. I also recommend the card wallet. I mean, convenient. You could have it to go with your belt bag. Um, it's small. If you only carry a few cards at a time, it's perfect. I know I do. I carry a few because I also have um, the Apple wallet, so I don't need to carry something really big. Right now, I have the Louis Vuitton um, pochette that I carried um, in all of my bags. And after a while, my bags start to weigh me down. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and invest in a card wallet. And I'm so glad I did. So that will conclude the review today. And um, like I said, if you guys like this review, please like and subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comments. And let me know what you think about the belt bag, what you think about the card holder. If you also have the bag, do you agree that it's something that others should purchase and that you would recommend? And let me know what other kind of content you guys are interested in seeing. Thanks. Bye.